Hey guys, welcome back. The purpose of this video is to show you how to download your digital planner from either Teachers Pay Teachers or Etsy and put it into your iPad or tablet. There are many different options that include ways to get your planner to your device if you're using it on a tablet or iPad. But the first thing I want to point out is whenever you are downloading your digital planner, you will first receive a PDF. That PDF has instructions to how you can get this device onto your, I'm sorry, how you can get this planner onto your device and what apps you can use. So the first thing you download from Teachers Pay Teachers or Etsy is not the planner. Due to the size of the planner file, I had to attach a PDF with links to the different planner options. With all digital teacher planners, there is a Google Slides option, along with the, the annotated PDF version. Now, depending on the size of, I'm sorry, depending on your internet, it may take a little while to download the file, but that is fine, it's just a larger file. So, once it opens, you will be able to see the instructions and the links to all of the different types of planners. So. This is the Digital Teacher Planner landscape for 20, 2021. And we're gonna go ahead and open that PDF. And like I said, the first page is going to be getting started with it. The second page has some apps and then you have four links. The first link is for a video on how I edit my planner. The second one is a video explaining how to export to your iPad. And then there's the digital planner and the Google Slides planner. When you click on, click here for Google Slides planner, it will ask you to make a copy. You want to make a copy because otherwise you will be editing my original and then everyone else who downloads this one will also have your edits. So you want to make a copy and it will send it directly to your Google Drive once you hit make a copy. The other option is for anytime you are using it on an iPad or tablet device. You will click here for digital planner and it will bring you to my Google Drive where you will download it, okay? You can download this and send it to your iPad or add it to your Google Drive and then open your Google Drive on your iPad or tablet. That is an easy way to get it if you do not have a MacBook and you cannot airdrop it. So, one option would be to download this, save it to your desktop, and email it to your iPad or tablet. Another option would be to add it to your Google Drive and then open your Google Drive on your iPad or tablet. Okay. First thing I'm going to do is add it to my Google Drive. I'm just going to add it to my drive right away. Okay, so now I'm going to go access it on my um, on my iPad. Okay, now all I've done is open up GoodNotes on my iPad, and I'm going to click New, and I'm going to click Import, and then from there, Google Drive is up here, but if it is not, you want to go back to Locations, and you want to choose Google Drive. If it is in your iCloud, then you can choose that location. Like if you save it on your desktop of your MacBook or your iMac, you can choose iCloud Drive and it should come up as well. So I'm gonna choose Google Drive, and then I'm gonna look for the title. The title is Digital Teacher Planner Marble. And I'm gonna Put some, there we go. Oh, hit select and then that file and then open. Sorry about that. It's been a while since I've done it via Google Drive. But I think this may be the easiest for those people that are struggling with downloading the file onto their computer. So your newest one will upload here usually. Now it will take some time to open because it, it may be a larger file, but it should pop up here. Okay, there it is. 
it popped up right here and it says today date and time so that way I know this is the most recent one and when I click on that now sometimes it takes a minute for it to load so it will act kind of you know slow as it's loading the planner into GoodNotes because it is a 200 page file um, if you do see like a little cloud in the corner with it like circling that means it's like updating and syncing to your Google Drive so you may just want to give it a second if for some reason GoodNotes is acting weird it's glitchy, completely exit out of the app and open it again. It is a great app. I promise you it will be your favorite one. Just sometimes they have a few glitches and GoodNotes is very good about fixing any bugs. So now you should be able to see all of your different cover options along with all of your different tabs and it's ready to go. So I wanted to do one more quick thing in this one, and that is how to use stickers. So if I go to this stickers tab at the bottom, these are all links to all of these digital stickers, and then there are lifestyle stickers here. So I'm gonna show you how to use these lifestyle stickers and insert them into a page. So what you wanna do is make sure you are on annotation mode. Annotation mode is when you click here and the annotation toolbar comes up. You want to make sure you're on the lasso tool and I like to zoom in really really close so I can make sure I'm around it well so you just circle and lasso around the entire sticker once you're completely around it you're going to hold down on the screen hit take screenshot hit the share button and then you want to copy Okay, and we'll get rid of this white space once we go back. So we're gonna go back to where I want it. Notice I got out of annotation mode. I'm now in presentation mode because that toolbar went away. And I'm gonna go, let's say to um, July. And let's say I just wanna copy it on, on July 3rd. I'm gonna make sure you're on presentation mode. I'm gonna hold down on the screen and hit paste. Now, I don't like how there's all this white space around it, so what you can do is click the arrows and click crop. Now, right now it's on rectangle, which is great if you wanna get really close, but if it's one of those that the shape isn't so well defined, you can use the freehand option as well, and I'll show you that in a second. So now it's much better and you can just insert that, rotate it. If you wanna edit it after, just hold down on it and hit edit, and you can rotate it if you wish, but I wish to get rid of this white space for whatever reason. I'm gonna click crop again, freehand, and I want to crop that out. Nope, not that, didn't mean to do that. One more time, crop. So now if we put something there, it wouldn't work. It wouldn't be white. So now I'm gonna show you one with like um, writing. So I'm gonna come back to presentation mode, stickers, and I'm gonna go right here to lifestyle cause there's one that I like. Yep, this one. I'm gonna zoom in, annotation mode, lasso tool, circle around it as close as I can. Hold down on the screen, take screenshot, share button, copy. So now I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna put this on the front cover somewhere. So I'm gonna hold down on the screen, hit paste, and I don't like how there's all that white space around it. So I'm gonna click on the arrows again, crop, it's still on freehand, so I'm gonna go as close as I can to the words, so that way it almost looks, you know, digitally cut out. But this is great if you're putting it on like a color background. So like you could probably see it here, how it's like not all that extra white space 
and it looks like a real sticker, okay? So again, one thing I want to reiterate is that this is annotation mode. Your links will not work in annotation mode. They will not. They will only work in presentation mode. So once that writing toolbar is gone, the links will work. If for some reason the links stop working and you are in presentation mode, close the app and open it back up. It does happen and it is not a flawless app as none of them are. So just make sure that you're on presentation mode whenever you do that, okay? I hope this helps. I will be back with more tutorials. I hope you have a great day.